everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Arrow TV Series 7 inch scale Season 3 Arrow and Laurel Lance Black Canary figures from DC Collectibles. Now, both of these figures come packaged in the same style packaging we've been seeing with all the Arrow TV Series figures. You've got the window box with the white and green highlights. The figures are clearly displayed. Off to the side, you have the names of the characters. Black Canary is figure number 11 in this way in this series and arrow is figure number 10 on the sides of the packaging we have looks at the actual figures and then on the back of the packaging we have a look at all three figures in the wave so the season three arrow black canary and then malcolm merlin which we looked at a couple weeks ago and then down below it tells us that the arrow figure was sculpted by phil ramirez and the black canary figure was sculpted by dave cortez Okay, let's get these open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now before we look at the figures, let's first take a look at all the accessories that they come with. So starting with Arrow, first of all we get three different pairs of hands. So we get a pair of closed fisted hands and then we get a pair of grip hands for the bow and arrow. So this one, the, the left hand is the grip for holding the bow and then this one, the right hand is shaped with the fingers I would say for better holding the bow string. And and then this third pair of hands, again, the left hand is for holding the bow. And then the right hand, I would say the fingers are better suited for holding the actual arrow. We get three different arrows. So one arrow is just a regular arrow. It's got the silver arrow head on the end. And then it's just got the green shaft. And on the back, it's got the yellow and fluorescent green feathers. Now on mine, this came, this arrow came out of the packaging. You can see the, arrow, the tip of the arrow is kind of bent. Uh, you could probably straighten this out if you took a hair dryer. But I would be careful. This is pretty brittle plastic so you could easily snap that off if you're not careful and then the second arrow has looks like just an explosive tip it's just black and then the third arrow is a combination has explosive tip and the arrowhead and again this arrowhead's a little bit bent not as bad as the other one but it is bent a little bit the figure does have a quiver on his back. It's not removable and it's very small. You can really only hold one arrow. I tried getting more than one in, but they're really too kind of big to fit two in there. So I would recommend only going with one. And again, it's not removable and it's just kind of a hard plastic. I don't know why they made it so small so that it only holds one arrow. Finally for arrow, we get his bow. And this is very similar to the bow that we got with the last arrow figure. The green is a little bit lighter on this new one, but it's got the green with the black and then it's got the elastic string really the only big difference is they've added this little piece here in the middle and I assume that's for putting an arrow on so that you don't actually have to have the figure hold the arrow so you can kind of slide the arrow in between that those two pieces there so I do like that they added that moving on to the canary figure we again get three different pairs of hands so we get a pair of open relaxed hands then we get a pair of closed fisted hands and then finally we get a pair of grip hands. Switching the hands out on both figures is easy. You just pull the hands out, whatever hand you want to replace, and it's got the little peg on the hand, and then you just plug in the hand you want to replace it with, and it goes in nice and tight. And then finally Canary comes with this night stick and it's done with just a black plastic. You've got the little sculpting for the handles back here and on the side. Now I just want to note when I pulled mine out of the, the little blister packaging it got caught and I actually snapped it in half because this is a pretty hard plastic. I had to glue mine back together so just be careful when you're taking it out of the package. It has this little loop on her belt that you can slide the night stick into. So for the figures themselves, starting with Arrow, I've got to say this is probably my least favorite Arrow figure in this line to date. He just looks so much skinnier than the previous Arrow figures that DC Collectibles has released. The hood, like on the previous figures, is still attached to the body, so you can turn the head, but he ends when you turn the head to the side, he ends up looking into the mask, which I don't really like. The, the hood is still kind of a vinyl material. It's a little stiffer than on the previous figures, but you can still pull it back. And then he's got hair underneath there with sky Got some wash work. It's a browner color hair than on the previous figures a little bit, but pretty much the same there. He's got the five o'clock shadow. It's not a full on beard and it's not as dominant as we saw in the other figures. And he's got the mask, the green mask with the blue eyes. I would say the face sculpt is about on par with the other figures as far as looking like the actor. And then like this piece up here is actually sculpted on the figure. It was a separate piece of vinyl material that was glued onto the figure on the previous ones. He does have the strap for the 
the quiver and that is a separate piece and it's again done with that vinyl material and this is basically just glued and the quiver as I mentioned is very small looking on this figure and then the the overall just the paint applications you know the, these previous ones looked much more like he was wearing a leather outfit like he does in the TV show this one looks much less like it's leather and so I don't know it just kind of throws off the overall look to me the sculpting on it's decent and he's got this little sculpting here on his arms and then he's got the line work and he's got the black gloves and again he's got some sculpting with these black line work here on his sides and the lighter green arrow on his back and he's got the stripe down his leg and he's got the black boots so, you know, the overall sculpting on the figure is pretty good. I just think he looks, because he looks so much thinner than the previous figures, it kind of throws the look off to me a little bit. For the Canary figure, I think they've done a pretty good job with this one. The face likeness isn't 100%, and a little bit depends on what angle you're looking at it from. I think the eyes are a little bit off. She's got the black mask and then the dark kind of maroon lipstick. I think the skin tone on the face is a bit off as well. She has the very blonde hair, and I think this is much more in keeping when she first started being Canary in, in the original promo images. Her hair was very blonde, and then later on, it wasn't as blonde as much when she was wearing the costume. But again, I think the hair is in keeping with her early appearances as Black Canary. And the hair is done with that kind of soft rubber material, so it doesn't limit the, the movement of the head too much. And then for the rest of the figure, it's basically, you know, you've got that black kind of leather, um, and she's got this black undershirt, and she's got the zipper that's kind of halfway down, and then she's got all the buttons and zippers and everything throughout the figure. She's got this little pouch on the one leg, and she's got the high boots with the little belts and everything. So again, I think the sculpting detail and the overall look is, is pretty good on this one. So these figures stand, Arrow, if you count to the tip of his hood, stands just under seven inches tall, and then Canary stands right about six and a half inches tall. Here's a comparison of the new Arrow with the previously released Arrow figures in this Here's line. a comparison of the two Black Canaries, and you can see Sarah's, uh, the Sarah version is a little bit taller. And then finally, here's a comparison of all of Team Arrow. The articulation is pretty much on par with what we've seen with the other figures in the line. For Arrow, you can turn the head to the left and to the right. Again, the hood does doesn't actually turn though so you end up looking into the hood and there's really no back or forth movement with the head. Arms attached with the ball hinge joints so you can get the arm out about that much and he's got good rotation. No bicep swivel, has a single hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow about that much. Has swivels on the wrist, has hinges on the hand so he's got some up and down movement there. Has this midsection joint, really no ab crunch but he does have rotation there. Feels like he has a bit of a waist swivel but with the way it's sculpted it really doesn't move very much there at the waist. And then the legs, you can get out about that much. I don't want to do it more because I don't want to risk breaking it. And can get the leg forward about that much. And can't really do the leg back very much at all. No thigh swivel. Double hinged knee, so he does have good bending at the knee. And then he's got hinges on the feet, so he's got up and down movement with the feet. And he does have ankle pivot. And two peg holes on the bottom of the Canary, feet. Again, you can turn the head to the left and the right. And she has some down movement with the head. And not a whole lot back because of the hair. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder, so she can get her arm out good. Has good rotation there. Doesn't have a bicep swivel. Single hinged elbow, so can bend her elbow about that much, has swivels at the wrist, hinges on the hand, so good up and down movement with the hand, has that midsection joint, so she's got some rotation there, and then she really doesn't have much in the way of crunch. She can look back a little bit there at the midsection, and then she does not have a waist swivel, legs attached with ball joints, so she can do the splits about that much, she can get a leg forward about that much, and she can't really do her leg back at all. She has a double hinge knee, so good bending at the knee, no thigh swivel, and then she's got hinges on the feet but with the way they're sculpted only a little bit of up and down movement and does have a little bit of pivot there so you got some ankle pivot and then one peg hole on the bottom of her foot. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, between these two figures, I definitely like the Canary figure the best. The Arrow figure's not bad, but just compared to the previous ones, it, this is definitely my least favorite. And the Canary, again, I think looks pretty true to how she looks in the TV show. The face likeness isn't 100% on, but I think it's close enough. And if you've been collecting these Arrow TV series figures, I think this is one you'll definitely want to add to the collection. Now, both of these figures are hitting comic and special 
specialty shops now. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.